got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. And his whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase. Are you busy? Well, I'm kind of... Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great. Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah, are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? Oh, the usual, actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! You here to join the fire department? Head on in!
Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Someone really ought to finish painting that garage door. You look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look, a raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only someone could. That's great, well done. You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Although most of the recent fires have been burning down properties of small time criminals. Well done. Wait a minute. That door is shut. Oh, and an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. There, a fire axe. Do you think you could somehow use this axe to get through that door? Don't worry. Here's Petey. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and strong? Pick up the valve in there. Good. Oh, great heavens! Look! One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high! 
but who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. Ooh. All right, you lasted ages. That's gotta be a wreck. Uh, muy bien. You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates. Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends! Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! Ha-ha! <laughs> excellent catch! Right a bit? Good work! Hey! hey. Got him! Left! Stop! Geronimo! Nicely done! Go right! Get oh. ready! Oh, you almost lost one! Get oh. ready! Oh, you almost lost one! Right! Get oh. ready! Oh, you almost lost one! No, no, no! Go left! Get ready! Yay! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these! Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends! Hop on to one of them! Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? And there you go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Build a ladder! Go on! I hope my training's almost finished. I still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. Time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes. Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Admiral Pom Pom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator. Well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, Chasey! How you settling into your new job? Good but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. The chief's sulking in his... Right, I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal, if you like. Nah. What are you doing? Get out of my office! And stay out! I should probably wait until tomorrow before asking for a raise. <sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one. And got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths but only when they're facing you. Hey, you did it! A 
Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. You ever snuck in the Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I couldn't make the jump to his office. Huh. What if we brought in a hang glider? I'd so be up for that. boat and sail it away. Over here. How did you guys get in here? Uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Aw, uh, I like him.
Glass said you should get on the water cannon. Joystick does. Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing. See? Yeah. <laughs>